Hey, it's Mazzy here. So this is one of those mixtape style videos where it's a potpourri of fusing idioms of collective thoughts and music and records. Basically, it's all the crap I couldn't stick in one video, <laughs> pushed together and, and uh, you know, some, for you. VCLT, which is Vinyl Community Love Train. People send in uh, me shit on occasionally, occasionally. Um, there is record store porn later on. I went to Easy Street Records and visited a store in West Seattle. Some used and some pre-orders that have uh, arrived. And a special meditation moment in the middle of all this. So, those of you who have been following me for a while know I dislike immensely box opening so so i already opened this but i really didn't look through it i, I kind of saw a little bit because it came i got this from eric weinbenda south carolina spoilers please read at the end okay so i opened the box and this is what's in it Gone in 60 seconds, over 500 crashes inside this DVD. Now, oh, so this is not the um, Nicolas Cage film? I guess it just actually crashes. I need to play this with the sound off while I'm playing um, Metallica live in San Francisco at the San Francisco Symphony, maybe. I don't know. Wow. Is it a DVD or is it a video game? I guess it's a DVD. DVD classic. DVD. DVD, car crashes. God, I wish I still had my 1972 Ford Pinto. That would be like <laughs> explosive action. Thank you, Eric. That's really cool. <laughs> now, this is great. I mean, just for the cover. That's all I give a shit about. Fuck the music. Um, my favorite guy, how can you... Uh, how can we miss you when you won't go away, right? Uh, Steve Earle and the Dukes, Record Store Day exclusive seven inch. Times like these, the devil put the coal in the ground, 2020. That's a great illustration, I love that. Very nice. What is this? Oh. Batman number one. This is worth $47,000, Eric. Actually, it's not Batman number one. It's Batman number 222, June 15 cents. Oh, Hot Wheels. I like that ad. I like that ad. I had Hot Wheels. One of them is dead, but which one? Oh, of course. Dead till proven alive. The clue is on their album cover. The Beatles. Batman meets the Beatles. That's really cool, actually. Um, oh, man. There's like, I haven't got to read. I mean, of course, I'm going to read this, but um, Batman meets the Beatles. What year was this? Was it during or after their, um, their reign of terror? Thank you, Eric. Batman. The Beatles. And shelf clutter. It's broken. <laughs> Weirdos, Dad. Is this Big Daddy Roth? Oh, no, it's Weirdo. Oh, I remember Weirdos. I mean, this is totally like stuff I knew as a kid. Shelf clutter. Um, wow, this is like... Uh, Daddy, number 732. Is it because of the hat? There's a somewhat of a, a slight resemblance there. <laughs> I love this. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, groovy guy. Now, um, of Nashville, North Carolina. So you went across state lines to, to get this shelf clutter and send it to Mazza here. Thank you. Uh, cocktail someday and, uh, We'll phone you. Oh, the card. 
Now I may edit this video depending on what this card says. Um, Dear, my dearest Normie, sending you records seems a little inane with the hoard you have amassed. In lieu of that, I put together a box of random. The original Gone in 60 Seconds is dated, but terrific. I think you'll enjoy the bonus bio doc of, on H.B. Halleck. Don't know him. The shelf clutter is fitting. The hat, the martini, sealed deal. I did include a record after all. I don't know why. Lastly, I don't know it's not wax, but I hope you enjoy the grail in the mail. Well, at least by nerd standards. Eric W. Thank you, Eric. Actually, seriously, really appreciate it. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that car. That's a Pinto after um, explosive device uh, from rear entry. Rear entries. <laughs> Shouldn't talk about rear entries. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, new records in the mail. Uh, one CD set. I'm a big Neil Young fan, and um, I almost wasn't going to go for this, and I found a good price. Suffice it to say, uh, Volume 2 CD of the Archive Series, Volume 2, 10 CDs. This is the 1972 to 1976 period. As you can see in my shelf over there, I have number one down there, right above uh, the naked photographs by um, Helmut Newton. Great Helmut Newton, a great great German photographer. Um, I got to click the no kids box. Um, so some of these I have, but there's a lot of uh, records that were outtakes that are alternate versions. Uh, these are beautiful little cover art. So there's, uh, there's Budokan right there. I'm just going to not go through every single one. I'd say about five of these I already had, like this one I already have. Oh no, actually, I have the vinyl. I don't have it on CD, so perfect. Old Homestead. These are alternate uh, walk-on, alternate um, on the beach. So a lot of alternate stuff on here, you know, with a little overlap. So I probably have 20, 25% of this already. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, is that Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa. I already have that Tuscaloosa one, but uh, that's okay. And a book. Uh, a poster, poster, book, not is the big book on the big massive archive set, but big Neil Young fan here. I'm almost a completist when it comes to Neil. So now several new entries, new arrivals that have come. Uh, brand new Tone Poet. This is different than all the other Tone Poets because this is a new record. This is a newly recorded record by Charles Lloyd and the Marvels. And what's great about this is, first of all, it's called Tone Poem. And the interesting little factoid is that uh, Charles Lloyd is a jazz musician that gave Joe Harley the nickname of Tone Poet. Joe Harley, if you don't know, he's uh, the gentleman that archives and puts together all the Tone Poet for Blue Note. He was one of the partners in original uh, Music Matters Jazz uh, reissues. So these are all uh, analog recordings, Kevin Gray cut. I assume this is an analog recording since this is new, but it's time uh, for, for you jazz folks, instead of buying all this like 56 year old jazz shit that's been repackaged and remastered, get some new music, support these new guys. Uh, this is a, a, I've heard of this already, but it's um, Charles Lloyd on tenor sax and alto flute, the great uh, Bill Frizzell on guitar. Greg Leach on steel guitar, Ruben Rogers on bass, and Eric Harland on drums. Uh, double album, wonderful package on Tone Poet, a uh, Blue Note release, brand new release, called Tone Poem. How great is that? How wonderful is that? So this is something that's, uh, I think, really special. You want some, like, uh, uh, like spirituality? You want some, like, like just kumbaya music next. How about that? And then maybe a little like a record store porn after that, huh? So my friend Michael from Noted and Archive, guitar player in Balmoray, Newly signed to Deutsche Gramophone Records album is coming out. 
in the next several months. And I just received Balmoray branded incense, a limited edition. Balmoray, the wind. Coming in 2021. Neoclassical, moody, spiritual, beautiful. Balmoray, Balmoray. Last couple months I've done several uh, collaborations and videos on soul music and a little bit of funk but mostly soul of course uh, women of soul as well and uh, I kind of in a soul mood I, I'm trying to like beef up my Motown collection a few things so these are a few um, OGs I picked up and this is a stereo version of a hair symphony uh, the great Supremes of course it has uh, a version of the Beatles yesterday since there's always a connection I Hear a Symphony, Unchained Melody, My World is Empty Without You, Babe, A Lover's Concerto. Uh, was it the Toys that did the original version or the cover version of that? I forgot who had the other hit of that. I think it's the Toys. Someone's going to correct me or someone knows. I remember that song. I love that song. So it's kind of fun to have this record on Motown Records. Um, Ray Charles, Volume 2. I have a, a Volume 1. I think Volume 1 is the red cover, as I recall. And this is a nice pressing. This is, uh, I think this is like an early 70s uh, pressing of this. Modern Sounds and Country and Western Music. Um, I have the full Rhino CD box set of all this stuff. And it's just really incredible to hear him do these songs. Like You Are My Sunshine, Someday, Midnight, A Lonesome Me, Don Gibson song. Uh, Your Cheatin' Heart from Hank Williams, Making Believe. 
Lillian Schwab, Making Believe, I think I uh, have a great version of that by Amy Lou Harris, love that song. Um, so love Ray Charles, totally cool, totally cool. This was sort of a guilty pleasure and I have this that one psychedelic -y soul album that's sort of spiritual, and I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the kind of 70s, mid 70s record, 75, four or so. But this is the record that was all over the radio, and I, I couldn't listen to this song for years. Me and Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, we got a good thing going on. I love this. This is so friggin' great. So, Philly International, 360 degrees of Billy Paul. And look at that leather hat. Is that cool or what, right? We kind of look alike a little bit. No, I've got to get my black leather hats out. And then one that is a funky record produced by Quincy Jones, uh, The Brothers Johnson. I used to have this record and it went away with my purge, but it's just a fun record. Of course, it has their cover of um, Strawberry Letter 23, which was the um, record by Suggy Otis. His records are great. And uh, this is the big hit of that song. Uh, so Brothers Johnson on a and Records. This is 1975 or four. I think it's 1975. Anyway, Brothers Johnson, Strawberry Letter, number 23. And 23 is my lucky number, so, so there you go. Two more uh, for my collection from the great uh, German label, uh, curated by uh, Sammy Ben Rejeb is uh, Analog Africa Records. These two just arrived. This one, Afrobeat Airwaves, West African Shockwaves, Ghana and Togo, 1972 to 1979. Funky, great beats. This is a repress. This had been out of print. I have volume two of this, and I'm really excited to get volume one because I'm trying to collect uh, the entire catalog of Analog Africa, and I love these records. They're so fun and funky. I mean, now they're not audiophile records, but they're just really well done. And many of them come with these beautiful books um, or inner sleeves with a lot of great uh, liner notes. So this one I'm so excited about. Again, I have volume two, so it's great now that they've, uh, they are repressing some of these hot stuff, hot stuff, really just, just get your, get your juices flowing. Now, Edo Funk, this is a new one. This is volume one. Edo Funk Explosion, volume one. Look at these friggin' covers. Their cover art, like, really, really rocks. And look at this. Man. So, I, I assume, obviously, there's going to be a volume two of this. Uh, this just came out. And these books, some of them have these elaborate books telling the story of the selection of artists, records what Edo Funk's about. This one literally just came in, so I haven't I haven't heard it yet. Here are uh, some of the great, uh, from their great catalog of Analog Africa. I highly recommend, if you want an introduction uh, to this label, if you can find Afro Scream Contest Volume 1 or Volume 2. I believe they're out of print, but maybe they'll be repressed. Afro Scream Contest. You know, any of these are great, but that those two, just for whatever reason, they're just they just rock. They're they're fucking amazing. So Analog Africa, every time I get these in, I'm excited. They do come from Germany, uh, FedEx, so the shipping is not cheap. But if you just total it figuring what you're getting for these uh, double album sets, I think they're well worth it. Um, some stores I've seen up in Seattle area, Sonic Boom Records carries some of these. So, you know, check your local. Maybe they can get them uh, for you. But Analog Africa, highly recommended. And lastly, in this section here, I've been trying to get this and I finally found one at the normal price, is um, the Mofi of Love and Theft. Uh, one of my favorite Bob Dylan records. And I think I showed this as one of my top 15 uh, Dylan records. And of course, um, a lot of you tweakers out there said I should have included uh, Modern Times instead or in addition to, but uh, we'll see how that goes later. But um, nice hat from uh, the Bard. 
uh, Bob Dylan, Mo5, 45 RPM, Mo Fidelity, Dylan fan here, big Dylan fan. So uh, thank you for watching this uh, potpourri of uh, spiritual enlightenment and new releases and used records and incense and peppermint and uh, record store porn and uh, VCLT. Thank you, Eric. And uh, thank you, uh, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Mazzy loves you and um, keep it coming.